Hello, welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug, and today we're going to be going over the difference between receiving a payment in QuickBooks and recording a deposit in QuickBooks. Similar to on the vendor side, the difference between paying a bill and writing a check, uh, it's the difference between a one-step method and a two-step method to record a payment from your, your customers. Um, to use the receive payment option, you have to first create the invoice. So if you're creating invoices for your customer, let's just create a, a dummy invoice here. If you do create invoices, then that's the first step. We'll say we did five uh, hours worth of design for this customer, $275. We'll save the invoice. So now the invoice has been created. It's sitting in QuickBooks as a receivable, waiting for payment. Now, you know, week two late weeks later, we receive payment. So we're going to go in and actually record the payment in QuickBooks. So the first thing you do is go into receive payments and you choose who the vendor or the customer is that the payment's coming from. And what it's going to bring up is a list of all outstanding invoices you have with that customer. So in this case, there's only this one invoice that we had just put in for $275. So you're going to put in the amount of the payment. We'll, we'll assume that they're paying it in full here, the date of the payment. Um, if they pay by check, you can put in the check number. And you'll see that QuickBooks in this case automatically applied that 275 to this invoice. If there were multiple invoices, you could change how you applied the amount to the different invoices all you want. You just override it right here. But in this case, it's uh, it's paid in full. So this is how we record the, the payment. So now we've done the received payment and think of this as the check has been applied to the customer's account but it's still sitting on your desk and has not actually been taken to the bank yet. So for that we need to go into the record deposit screen. So we go in here and the first thing you do when you uh, you see when you go into the deposit screen is it brings up this pop-up menu uh, that shows you all of the payments that have been received in QuickBooks but have not yet been deposited in the bank. So the, apparently there's these three checks that were recorded as payments in QuickBooks but never actually recorded as deposits and taken to the bank. So we're, we're assuming our deposit's only going to be for this one check that we just received from Christina Andres. So we'll select that one and what it does is it puts it right over here on this form. Think, this is the deposit form. Think of this just like your deposit slip that you have at the bank. So it would list all of your different payments on here that are going to be included on this deposit. So you make sure it's going to the right account, the right cash account, right date. It's already got this check and this is going to be our total deposit of 275 and so we'll save and close and there we go now we've created the invoice we received the payment to apply it to the customer's account and then we recorded the deposit to show the cash going into the into the cash account now the other option is to go directly to record deposits if you have not created an invoice for a customer you're receiving a payment that's not related to any customer invoice you go to record deposits it's going to ask you do you want to deposit any of these things uh, these payments that you've received and not deposited yet, if in this case you would say no, I'm going to cancel this, so I get a blank form. So in this case, if I uh, if I were receiving this payment from Christina Andres, but I'd never created an invoice, I would select her. I would choose the revenue account since I would never created an invoice. Now I actually have to book the revenue to whatever it is. So I would say design services. I can put in the check number. Say payment method check and the amount of 275. So we'll pretend it's the same transaction but in this case an invoice was never created. Um, we're just going to go right to depositing it. So you're depositing it into the bank and you're recording the revenue at the same time here. That's it. Hit save and close. That's the two ways to record the same transaction. Um, if you just keep in mind if you created an invoice you must receive payment before you record deposit. If you skip this step it will not apply the payment and the deposit to the invoice. You must receive payment first. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys again soon.